In your morning school watch now, in less than two weeks, school districts across the East will return to class. This is a time when students of all ages can experience high levels of anxiety. Our Connor Kick joins us with more information. Connor. Well, Maria, school is an exciting time, but can also induce large amounts of stress in students of all grade levels. Social workers in the East say that this is something that they deal with on a day-to-day -day basis with different levels of severity. Anxiety can be triggered through transitions, the desire for success, or bullying, just to name a few. Experts believe social media also plays a large role in anxiety, whether it's body image or looking for acceptance. Schools are combating the issues with counselors, orientations, and training staff on how to help ease anxiety. If left unnoticed, it can cause long-term problems. As we know, anxiety is one of those things that if unchecked, it can cause different um, somatic issues within your body and you don't want that to occur. We want our children to be healthy and whole and we don't want them to have to deal with different things. Some common symptoms of anxiety are mood swings, crying, stomach aches, and headaches prior to the start of school. If you notice that your kids are experiencing symptoms more days than not, you may want, want to seek professional help. Connor Kick, not on your side.